we had a serious storm roll through that wreaked havoc all over southwestern Ontario. Have a look. All right, we just got a weather update from Ontario Stormwatch. They said they were tracking a possible funnel cloud traveling northeast towards Tilbury. Well, obviously that's where we're at. But uh, the rain just let up and now it's just started again. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Keep you updated. Well, I didn't plan on making a video tonight, guys, but we got some nasty weather coming. Have a look at this. Wind just picked up, temperatures dropping. Here it comes. This is not looking too good. They're already talking about a tornado, possible tornado in Windsor, and a possible tornado in Leamington. Here comes the big rain too. Now I'll let you know what happens in a bit. Oh boy, here it comes. So on the Ontario Weather Watch YouTube channel, they were talking about some of the houses are losing shingles, possible tornadoes in Leamington and Windsor. A bunch of debris floating around. I understand why. Here's what's coming by now. I'm somewhat protected by the house, so I'm not exactly getting wet. I don't think you can all hear that, but I can hear the wind just howling. It sounds like a train is going by across the road over this way here. Well, this line of storms is coming out of Michigan, across Detroit. Let's see what's over this way here. Oh yeah, she looks even worse this way. storm was going pretty good clip this direction here it looks like it may have stalled of course what do I know I'm not a weather guy still looking pretty black there well, if you're all asking why am I not out looking at this um, I'm not gonna leave my wife and daughter here by themselves while this is going on while I'm out trying to get some video so doing the best I can from my deck and the rain is now coming well, we'll see how this works out I'm gonna check the uh, radar and see exactly where it's at but once the line goes through there was nothing else behind it so if this is gonna be it this is gonna be it we'll soon tell all right, so I'm going to guess there's a lag in the radar. The main band has gone by us already. Have a look. This is kind of where we're at now. It dumped a fair bit of rain. And the winds really didn't get as high as I thought they were going to get. But who knows? We look over towards Wheatley over that way. Doesn't look too bad compared to what it did look like. Now I'm recording this later on in the afternoon. Actually, it's about 6 p.m. It's been raining on and off all day. It's gonna rain the rest of the night as well. But uh, it rained hard. And I mean, it was hard. So we're out here we're gonna look at some possible damage, if any. Anything that may need replacing while it's still early in the season, we can replace them. Looks like our potatoes are doing well. Got a bit of a sag. They got beat up pretty bad. Carrots are still standing tall. Some of the onions are up. So these peppers weren't that tall, but uh, they did get beat up a little bit. We are, um, these two plants right here, we put them in, but we're not quite sure what they are because they don't look like the uh, rest of the pepper plants. Because that'll be a surprise, but we do have somebody eating our leaves here we're not quite sure what that is and you see some of the leaves there have been eaten but one thing that one thing that is fairly exciting finally after years we have 
some raspberries. Finally, we have raspberries. This thing's been growing like a weed for the past couple of years. It hasn't given us anything, but looks like we might get some raspberries this year. These tomato plants here did pretty good. Looks like something was eating the leaves on these here too. I have to keep an eye on that and see what they are. Sunflower plants, they're growing well. We haven't quite got this guy in the ground yet, but he'll get in there. So these plants are doing good as well. Now this one here, this is a cherry tomato. And look, it's already up in the cage. More sunflower plants, those are doing good as well. The beans are doing good. Oh, look. These are ready for picking already. Check that out. Well, these plants don't seem to be hurt too bad at all. Plus, we can, like I said, we get some harvest some of those already. Well, these things didn't get damaged either. Look at, these things are just taken right off. Everything's going well here. That'll be out in the yard before we know it. Our broccoli. So we don't have any broccoli yet, but it won't be long before it's showing up too. The unfortunate thing, we're not quite sure why, is these cucumber plants are turning yellow on us. I mean, it looks like it might even be dying. I'm not quite sure why that is. This one here doesn't look too bad. But maybe it just wasn't ready to take, I guess. That one over there has got a flower on it. That one's got some flowers. A couple more tomato plants we didn't really have room for. But we don't want to throw them away so we're going to try and grow them in some pots we're going to transplant them soon and put them in pots but not a long video today just thought i'd give you a garden update again this has really cost us nothing we harvested our own seeds from last year like i've mentioned many times before and uh, a couple new boxes a little bit of new dirt and plenty of vegetables this summer just sitting down to edit this video and i noticed the sun came out. Also noticed it's raining. A little hard to see on camera, but it's raining. A minute ago it was just pouring. He needs to make up his mind. Oh, before I let you go, the sky over that direction. We don't need any more rain. Farmers might disagree. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button, the like button. It really helps over the YouTube algorithm. And we appreciate it very much. See you all in the next one. Oh, and remember, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later.